According to legend, 30 years ago, Atari buried truckloads of video games in this desert. Welcome to you guys. Thank you for coming out. We really appreciate it. We are going to start digging in a minute. Our goal is uh, to find some evidence of the burial of Atari products down here in Alamogordo. We hope we'll find the ET game. We have not found anything yet. All right, it's day two of our coverage of the Atari excavation. Uh, they have brought in the media, they have brought in the public, and they have brought in winds that are supposed to get up to 100 miles an hour from the south today, blowing garbage dust all around this landfill. The Illuminati of retro video gaming have come out for this historic event. So we are going to speak with Howard Scott Warshaw. He is the designer of ET. We are going to talk to video game designer and historian Mike Micah. We are going to talk to Ernie Klein. He is the author of the incredible book, Ready Player One. They are here. Wired is gonna to talk to all of them today as we dig up the Atari treasure trove of legend. For a company that's really in dire financial straits to take all this inventory that's supposedly worthless and literally truck it out into the desert and cover it up with cement and mash it over with tractors. The kind of thing you do with nuclear waste just seems absurd, it seems ridiculous. So on that level, I always thought it can't possibly be true. <laughs> and here it is, I mean, we're here looking at the excavation, which I've never really believed the stuff would be here. When I was a kid, I read this story and it was almost mythical to me because why would a company like Atari dump so many games. So I'm here to kind of complete this 30 year mission of mine to find out what happened to these games, if they even exist, what is this thing all about? The video game crash and uh, kind of the, the death of Atari is all linked and blamed on E.T. the video game. I played the hell out of E.T. and thought it was one of the most innovative Atari games uh, of the time. been here for a while already it's since getting, early morning yes yeah, it's the morning it's tedious the wind's horrible we're wondering if they're gonna find anything or not because they're just digging up lots of trash and everything it's kind of gross smelling right now at the moment um, if that bucket is any indication we're just gonna take the iceberg Seems like they uh, it seems like they found something. Uh, we see uh, a lot of smiling faces. They're bringing some stuff over to the archaeologist table right now. Zach is about to speak. Let's let's see what's going on. We found an intact ET the video game. Uh, ET is definitely here. The legend was so awesome. Like it's kind of a shame to finally figure it out, right? Like I think it was almost better to be the legend of what it was. When I first made these games, the whole point was about entertaining people like this right now behind me. It's still entertaining people. Now it's no longer a legend, right? Now it's a fact. Everybody's standing around here. Because Joe said they're there, well, uh, so yeah. Again, I wasn't nervous till we got down to that where he was almost reaching his max limb. But yeah, it was a big weight off my shoulders when, when that, that bucket came up in there. And ET, not just asteroids, but ET was there too. Here we are, I'm actually holding uh, one of the ET cartridges that was pulled out of the landfill. Um, it, was, it was a legend in the video game industry for three decades, and now, finally, we can say with absolute certainty that it is true, Atari was really buried out here in the New Mexico desert. And Wired brought it to you first. Thanks, guys. Hello there, I'm Howard Scott Warshaw, designer of Yars Revenge, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and E.T. Subscribe to the Wired channel for more action like this.